Hi, I'm Jake, an Applications Engineer at Tektronix for Keithley. Today, we'll be talking about using a DAQ 6510 and 7700 card to perform a front panel scan using an external instrument for sourcing and measuring. In this case, a model 2470 SMU. Now we're going to configure our 7700 switch card. We'll connect our external instrument, in this case our model 2470 SMU, to the input high and low. This will then run from our jumpers outside of the back of the card and out to our external instrument. If we were completing a four-wire test, we'd also connect the sense high and low and run those out to our external instrument as well. And then we're going to be connecting resistors to channel 1 high and low, 2, and 3. You could populate the entire card and then switch between all of these for multiple debts. If you were to run a four-wire test, not only would we have our sense connections, but also you would need to connect your resistors or your duts on the N and N plus 1 channels to get all four wire connections. Uh, for example, channel 1 would have the high and low, and channel 11 would have the sense high and low of your dot. Now we'll configure our test. We'll start with the SMU. I'm going to press quick set, change my function to source voltage, measure resistance. We'll set our source voltage to 2 and set a 10 milliamp compliance current. Now this is all ready to be configured. We'll go to the DAQ6510. We're going to start by pressing the menu button under channel, go down to scan. We're going to add our channels. Our devices are in channels 1 through 3 and press OK and we'll just have it monitor voltage. From here you can update your channel settings your scan settings, but for our test we're going to want to set the display trigger key to start each channel change that's using this key here. So now we'll press start scan, turn the output on in our SMU, and I'm going to go to the control option here, that way we can see when the channels change. When I press the trigger key, we close channel 1, and we get a 6 kilo ohm measurement when we're sourcing the 2 volts. Press it again and we move to channel 2 with a 2 kilo ohm measurement and channel 3 with 100 kilo ohms. That's how you perform a front panel scan using a DAQ6510 and external instrument. To automate the test you can use our test script builder software and TSP link which we'll be showing in a future video. If you have any further questions please contact us at Tektronix Technical Support. We'd be happy to help.